That's 855-6. Okay, welcome back to Rick's Radio Conversions. Today we have Troy's 1969 Roadrunner 8-track AM radio that has been converted to AM, FM, auxiliary input, Bluetooth, USB, and yes, the 8-track works as well. And we're going to get through all of the modes here. So right now we're in FM, and this is a thumb wheel radio. They're pretty cool. And we're not going to thumb through everything here, but so we'll leave it here for a moment. So that's FM, and we're going to go to uh, the tune function, right? So here's our little dongle. Uh, green, we're in FM, or yellow, we're in FM. So on the thumb wheel, we're going to try it. It may take a bit to get used to, but you're going to go down. And, yep, so we're flashing, so it's going to scan up the dial. It's going to go this way. There we go. And we'll let it, we'll let it do a couple channels. So let's say that's a channel you wanted. You take your thumb wheel, you go down once and back. And then we're going to flash really, really fast, and then it's going to stop. Let's try and find that. We should be able to find that. Well, that was probably it. So that's how the scan function works. Uh, for AM, you're just going to go off and back on again. Now your LED is red. There we go, there's 1090. That's pretty good. Go back to FM, off, back on again. Uh, this radio is pretty cool. It also has a built-in fader. That's the rear, rear speakers. Front speakers. And it's got a detent for front and rear together and it's got the tone d10 for that as well now this has got the voice operated switch for the aux so right now we're paused and we're just gonna go ahead and hit play and then there you go your auxiliary is now playing through the headphone jack and if you want to stop it you just hit pause on your device or turn it off. Wait 10 seconds or off and on again real quick. And there you go. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to uh, pair the, the USB device. And what you're gonna do is grab your thumb wheel for the tuner, for the, for the uh, uh, volume, and you're gonna go up twice from maybe midpoint to the top there. No, didn't do it. There we go. And she tells you ready to pair, hit the button. Pairing completed. And that's it. So now we're gonna go to iTunes. We'll leave this here easier for the demo so now we're streaming through the iPhone now if you didn't like this song we'll bring up the dial so if you go towards the top end of the indicator it'll fast forward if you go towards the bottom it will rewind so 
as we go up on the dial, if you watch the needle, you'll also see it fast forward as well. Pretty cool stuff. And if you wanted to rewind a song or two, and then it went back. So that's the iTunes portion. And now we're gonna do uh, some basic uh, streaming functions of what the radio, what the what the uh, phone and radio will do together. And basically, when you when you hit pause, you wait ten seconds or so. I guess that was maybe five, and back to the FM or whatever your AM, whatever you were in. So now, if you said, "Hey Siri, what time is it?" It's 9 p.m. So whatever you're doing, you can do drive-by, drive directions. Um, you know, ask what the weather is, all those different things, and uh, it'll stream out over the device. You'll get a microphone that you can try and hide anywhere um, or not use it. And as long as your, your phone is near that you have a microphone, it'll pick that up as well. Uh, so now we're to the USB. And you're going to get a USB device as well, a thumb drive, put all your songs. So now this is playing through the USB device. Same function up on the dial. You're going to fast forward. Back on the dial. You're going to rewind it. And that's the basic functions of the Aurora Design system. And that's how that works. Those are all the function modes for the basic design of the radio. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the A-Track. Uh, the A-Track is designed in this. Um, with all a new motor, new motor controller, preamp board, everything is new. However, it is still 40 year old magnetic media. The quality is not as good as digital, but I think you'll enjoy it. The system is designed the way I designed these is this is going to have its own power cord. Uh, you can hook it up to the same fuse block as the radio. But in other words, your radio has got two fuses. It has one for the radio and one for the A-Track. The A-Track is completely independent except for uh, the throughput to run the audio from either A-Track or auxiliary input. And it, it, basically what that means is if the A-Track ever fails, because it is 40-year-old uh, mechanics as far as the tape head, the capstan, uh, th those are the original equipment. If those ever fail, your radio will still work as advertised, uh, except for obviously if, if the A-Track fails. Everything else will still work as it does. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna we'll try some Blondie, I think. It's Friday night, why not, right? So when you put your, uh, your A-Track in, uh, the other thing is, let's get on that first, your A-Track, okay. This is a refurbished A-Track from uh, an A-Track company that uh, they take it apart, put new new pads on it, redo all the splices. Uh, I get mine through Kate's A-Track. Uh, if you Google uh, Kate's A-Track, you'll be able to find it. Um, you can send them tapes and they'll re rebuild them for you and she has uh, plenty uh, on her website. Um, so that's what I first recommend if you're going to do this to get uh, your, all your eight tracks rebuilt that you want to try and use. Now what's going to happen is uh, the radio is going to go away. There's an there's a audio switch in here. That's the 40-year-old audio switch. I'm not that angle, I guess. There we go. So remember now the magnetic media 
little bit more volume for it. Your balance still works the same, your fader rather. Eight tracks always sound a little bit better with more treble. That's your 8-track running right there, my friend. I think it sounds pretty good. Your uh, program selector. And that's how that works. All four programs have run through. We'll go back to track one. That's the end of Heart of Glass. Go through some more tracks. Remember that one, Rapture? So that's the eight track function. So when we're getting out of the A-Track mode, you're gonna pull this thing out, bring the volume all the way down. Because like I said earlier, this is magnetic media, not digital. So it takes a lot more amplification to make it work. If you pull this out where we were at right now, the speakers would blow you out. I mean, it wouldn't blow the speakers out, but it'd be very, very loud. And then you just grab a hold. And then we're in FM, I guess, you know. So that's kind of it. Uh, my biggest thing on the A-Tracks is um, have them rebuilt. Uh, it takes, maybe it's $15, I think she charges. Uh, puts all new splices and felt pads and stuff like that. Well worth it. Well, Troy, we hope you like your radio. Um, it was a, a pleasure to build. It took quite a while. It took about, uh, it was about 30 man hours to get all the noise out of it and stuff. It takes a lot to, to do that. Um, this radio may seem big, but the tuner is huge. The tuner takes up almost half the radio size um, in the back there. So we got it all in there though, and I think we got it down to a reasonable level. Um, and we hope you like it. And if you want your radio converted to AM, FM, Bluetooth, USB, eight track, please contact Rick's Radio Conversions. 757-716-9305. That's it for now. Thanks. Bye.